G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now recently announced was the ability to receive payments inside of Microsoft Teams through a new payments application and that's the focus of today's video. We're gonna go through adding the app, connecting it to Stripe, there's also PayPal as an option and then also have a look at what that experience is like on the other end when somebody actually goes to pay you uh, via Microsoft Teams. So let's jump in and have a look. So we're in Teams here. Now the first thing we need to do is add the application. So the application that we are looking for is called Payments. So if we search for Payments, we can see here that we've got Payments. It is in preview at the moment in this tenant. We'll click Add and that's going to install the application. We're taken to the landing page of the Payments app and you can see here that we need to start by connecting a payment service or a payment gateway. So we can see we've got Stripe and we've also got PayPal. Now I'm going to use Stripe. I've got a Stripe account. So I'll click Connect and then we need to authenticate into Stripe. So I am going to just drag this across here and I'm going to authenticate uh, into Stripe. So let me just pop in my Stripe details here. So I've popped my details in and then I am going to log in and authenticate to Stripe and then we can get started. So first of all, it's going to uh, send me a text message. So let me just pop in the code right here, like so, and then that is then going to verify myself and there we've got uh, my information all right so I've already got this all set up and I'm going to hit continue so we'll hit continue and then we'll be taken to the next step so we now review all of our information make sure it's all correct and we uh, agree and then we submit, all right? So all of that is now being configured and up and running. And then now let's just wait for that to process and then we'll jump back into Microsoft Teams. Okay, so Stripe is all connected. We can close the window uh, and then we can see when we're back in Teams, we just need to give it a, a refresh. So we'll jump back into Teams. We'll hit the in the payments app here. We'll just hit the refresh button in the top right-hand corner. Now we can see here that I have got that now connected. All right, we can open it if we need to or we can disconnect it. So now what we need to do is open up a Teams meeting and then we can request our payments. So we'll jump into uh, the calendar. Let's just create a new meeting. Uh, let's go payments test, or it could be a consulting call or something like that. If you're a service-based industry, you can then request payments or, or receive payments through uh, meetings like that too. So what we're gonna do is I'll pop in my Gmail account. Actually, let me just pop in my, um, my work and school account, and then we'll jump into Teams. So we'll go like so, um, and then we will invite send, and then we'll join that meeting, and we will see what that experience is like. So I'll jump in here as Megan. So this here is, is Megan. I'll just turn everything off here. And then what I will also do is just jump into that meeting um, as that other account. So we'll jump over here as well. So this is going to look um, pretty weird. So I'm just gonna turn the microphone and the camera off and we'll join now with that meeting too. And I'll join as Megan. So we can see here, left-hand side, I am joined as Megan. Okay, so let me just minimize a few of these, a few of these, and then we will jump in here. I've got Daniel waiting in the lobby, and then we will jump down over there. So you can see here, we've got two meeting windows. So I've got uh, Megan's on the left, and then I've got in here as Daniel on the right. So what we wanna do now is actually request a payment. So I'm gonna open up the chat, um, and that's gonna open up the chat dialog box on, or the panel on the right hand side. Now under the, um, uh, the, the new message box here, we can have a look for more apps. Now, one of these apps now is payments, okay? So when I click on payments, then you can see here that we can set things up. So let's click on continue, and then we'll go through this process and actually request, uh, request a payment. So we can see here, send it to me, okay? So the, the, 
this um, this request is going to be sent to Daniel, all right? So that's the person. If there's multiple people, then you can send it then obviously to certain people that are inside that meeting too. And we wanna request payment for consulting. Let's give this a $10 charge and we will send that request, okay? So that's now being sent across. Let me just drag uh, Daniel's window across on the right-hand side here. Now we can see that if I open up the chat box here, we can see that there is the payment. It's just coming through now. That's been sent. I can just see that uh, on the right-hand side there. So we can see this is just uh, refreshing. And here it is. And there's the payment request for Daniel. It's been sent by Megan. Uh, it's for consulting and it's for $10. So what we can do now is we send or we click pay now and that's then going to open up uh, another little dialogue box here, another Teams box, uh, and that is going to request the payment. So now that's uh, loaded up and you can see we're paying $10 to Daniel Anderson Consulting. I've got the cardholder's name, I've got all the details for my credit card, uh, and then I can click on pay. All right, so there we have it. The payments uh, application inside of Microsoft Teams, a really good way to be able to request payment from people that you might be having meetings for. So it could be a, a coaching call or a, a consulting call or a paid uh, live webinar or something along those lines. You can now request payment to uh, for the to the people that are inside that um, that meeting. So there we have it. Payments app inside of Teams. Uh, go check it out if you've got a use for it. Uh, then go and, and and have a look. As I said, it does use. Uh, you can connect to Stripe and also you can connect to PayPal as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.